veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah i move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by uh. i work hard each and every day i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel We're fixing to make a meal So I was going to give you guys a prep update while I make this meal Um, it's Monday May 15th, had check-ins this morning with Coach. Um, yesterday we had a new low weigh-in, the lowest of prep. I weighed 134.2, which is insane. Um, but of course this morning for check-ins, it was yesterday I weighed in at like 8.30 in the morning. And then my check-in this morning was at like 5, 4.45 in the morning. So my weight was not the same. Of course it was up a little bit. So that's a four hour difference, but it, I mean, it could be for other reasons too, but the time difference does make, you know, can cause that. Anyway, so weighing this morning um, was 135.6, I think, or 0.4, I can't remember. Anyways, but he gave me a refeed, so I have 60 extra grams of carbs today and then 40 extra tomorrow. Um, but I also work a long day on Monday. And I meant to carry like some extra carbs with me because I kind of, you know, we've, I've been having a refeed pretty regularly, um, but I totally forgot. So now it's almost 7 p.m. and we're fixing to have a giant bowl of oats with blueberries to try to help hit my carbs for the day. Um, and yes, I'm in my pajamas. Ignore. It doesn't matter. Um, disregard it. But we're going to do oats, blueberries. I have a little packet of this pea science protein powder just a sample packet so the peanut butter cookie we're going to put that in the oats mix it all together so i'm going to microwave this all right so with the microwave i'm going to add some cinnamon and the protein powder but i'm going to enjoy this um I'm trying to think what else we changed this morning he gave me a refeed he upped my cardio um, so we just hit two weeks out two days ago, um, but he up my cardio five minutes daily, which at this point really is not even a big deal. Um, but just to try to push a little bit more this week, I did express to him in my check-in that like he has like a space where it says like any concerns and I just put that, you know, realizing that I'm still probably not going to be lean enough. And it just kind of sucks because I'm doing everything I can. Like, um, so it's like, I'm, I mean, I'm leaner than I was for the clash, but it's like in my mind, I'm very competitive. I know what the standard is and what I need to be in order to win. Um, and I just don't think I'm quite there yet. So it's just like, it kind of sucks, like realizing that whenever I'm doing everything I can to achieve it. So he, you know, 
messaged back and was like, keep in mind, he was like, being a natural athlete, there's only so many buttons we can press and we're pressing all of them. He was like, so just keep that in mind. He was like, just, you know, we're just doing all that we can. And I know, I mean, I've been dieting for almost six months. So I mean, I know the body obviously is just gonna get tired after a while. Um, I've been on these same calories besides like refeeds. Um, I've been on like these same calories since like January. So I really haven't changed any, which is awesome. Like the fact that we did not have to drop a lot. But my, yeah, my calories have not changed since January. Other than weekly refeeds and the weekend of my, sh my show and the week of my show in March. That's the only time anything dropped or changed, which is crazy to think about. Um, but we did up my Yohim bind, so I was doing, I've been doing five milligrams a day. We did the 10. He said we'll pull that out come Monday. So have a week of increasing that dosage a little bit just to help a little bit more fat loss. Um, but he said he'll send my peak week plan on Saturday. We're going to kind of do similar to what we did last time because it worked as far as not changing things that don't need changing. So, um, he kind of went ahead and prefaced that, but we up cardio this week and he's like, we'll take it down next week. So, I can push a little bit longer, but so I just worked today. It was Monday and I did not sleep very well last night. I've been waking up a couple, a couple nights a week. Like I'll wake up in a sweat. Like, I go to bed and I'm cold, um, but I hadn't been wearing, like, a hoodie to bed like I was a few, a little few weeks ago. I quit doing that. I just added another blanket on top of my covers, but I go to bed and I'm cold, but I wake up, at, you know, a few hours later and have to pee, and my whole, like, back of my neck and the whole, like, back of my shirt would just be soaking wet. Like, I'd be just in a sweat, and it's terrible. I don't know, I don't know if it's hormone-related or what. I definitely will get my blood work done within the next few weeks to check up on everything and see what we need to do. You know, it's common for your thyroid to be downregulated and stuff like that. So I'm gonna check on that. Um, but that's been happening. I'm trying to think what else. I've been trying to be aware of my caffeine intake. Um, I mentioned that in a previous video. Um, Cause obviously it's definitely been up there, but I know once I get more food and have more energy, then that's gonna feel better. Um, but I'm fixing to eat this and I'm going to microwave this again. So my blueberries, I like the blueberries to get soft. I don't like them to be frozen. Some people like them that way, but I don't like them that way. So I'm going to microwave this. And enjoy this. Um, tomorrow I have legs. I'm going to train with my friend Kaya. So I'll get to see some clips of that. She is into powerlifting so she trains differently than i do she has a coach and a program that she follows so we're just going to kind of i guess mash up a workout together and just you know get get some stuff done um but really just hang out so if we hadn't had time to hang out we're both so busy but she's coming to my show so we're going to get in the workout tomorrow but i'll go in the morning and do cardio posing I have a shorter work day tomorrow um i'm gonna try to edit youtube video tonight get some rest I just did not sleep good last night. Just woke up a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I was like dreaming, thinking about food last night. I'm not gonna lie, and that's got to quit. Um, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So I'm gonna microwave this, and I may or may not see you guys for my last meal. We'll see. What's up, guys? I just wanna hop in here and say I was freaking cute. Hurting. Like, uh, but 
fits in the cool down. Gotta do some abs and posing this morning. I got legs this afternoon. But I just wanna say I made an Instagram post this week about when it comes to prep. The hardest days, the ones that you barely survive, are the ones that matter. Like, last week I had two days where I was like dying. And the next two days, I had two low weights. So push through those hard days. That's when champions are made. That's when you realize the athlete that you are. You flex in that discipline muscle. Put your head down and get it done, no matter how you feel. So, I feel better now. Got an awesome sweat going. I feel good. I'll probably crash later today, but it's okay. But yeah, let's cool down. I'll see you guys for some posing, probably. Awesome. Highest calorie burn yet, even without the extra five minutes of cardio that Coach added yesterday. So, I did have 50 minutes before, but we still beat our calorie goal before we even. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Just finished up a leg workout. I did work out with my friend Kaya, like I mentioned earlier. 
Um, she kind of did a few things. She's, she was gonna come back later and finish her workout because she needed to film for her coach. And obviously our programs are just a little bit different. So we just, I pretty much just did my own leg workout. She did a little bit of a few things with me, but then we just talked, just kind of catching up because we haven't, we just haven't had time to catch up or hang out, any, you know, recently. So we did that, but I ended up having a decent leg workout. I, you know, my legs are, they're feeling it, they're toast. But we just got in the car. I'm fixing to eat this tuna packet on the way home. And then I have post-workout meal that I'll eat when I get home with some carbs. And I will show you all that. I'm going to stop by the gas station and get my, you know, Diet Coke treat that I get almost daily. I haven't been getting them every single day anymore. And I had a monster earlier. No pre-workout, no other, no anything else as far as caffeine today. So all I've had is the caffeine that's in my fat burner and then my one peach monster. So I was proud of myself for that. So we, cause I debated on, I had like a pre-workout sample packet in my bag and I debated on taking it, but I was like, no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You have carbs today. You have energy. You'll be fine. And we survived. So I am proud of myself for limiting the stimulant intake today. But I'll see you guys at home for a post-workout meal. So we've got seven ounces of chicken breast with just some no sugar added ketchup on top. Um, if y'all watched my meal prep video, the last video I made, I made like a vegetable stir fry. So one onion, a yellow bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and mushrooms. So just the rest of that stir fry. And then we have seven and a half of these honey gold potatoes. Look at it. I baked them in the oven with just a little bit of butter spray on top. So that's going to be a post-workout meal. I'm going to enjoy this. I have one more meal to eat this evening because um, today is a refeed day. So I did get 40 extra grams of carbs on top of my training day um, calories. And then we have, you know, the Diet Coke. You know how it is. Um, I've got to do some meal prep. I've got to make chicken again. I just made it two days ago. We've got to make it again. Cause I've been eating it up. Um, and then I got one more meal tonight, my ice cream with some carbs as well. So I'll see you guys later on tonight. What's up guys? It's Wednesday morning. We just finished up cardio this morning. Um, I've eaten some breakfast before I start work. So I just wanna show you guys what I got. That yeah, I kinda already started, you know, um, before I thought about picking up the camera anyways. So we had five ounces of chicken breast with just some barbecue sauce and then the um, maple brown sugar cream of wheat, one packet with some cinnamon, and then one tablespoon of the honey almond butter that I've showed you guys before. Um, I normally, you know, do my protein powder in my cream of wheat a lot of times when it comes to eating breakfast at work because it's easy to bring and I make it before I leave the house. Um, but I do notice if I separate my protein and carbs, so I keep chicken and then cream of wheat, it's like I'm eating more. It's like a mental thing because, you know, I have two dishes. The protein is just not mixed in with the cream of wheat. It's separate, so it's kind of like a mind thing, but I do feel like I stay full for longer, maybe, as well. Um, and there is some rice cauliflower in the cream of wheat, too, just for a little more volume. But we came and did cardio this morning, did the elliptical again. Um, this morning, I felt like it took, you know, time went by a little slower, but it's okay. I did start a new TV show, so I started watching Manifest on Netflix. Um, I watched the first episode this morning. It was pretty good. So I think that's going to, I may start watching that. I feel like watching a show or a movie keeps me a little more entertained than YouTube the last week or so. Because I love watching YouTube, other people's channels, but when it comes to bodybuilding, but it kind of like helps me separate my mind from competing just a little bit and, you know, watch something else to keep me interested. Um, anyways, so started watching that so we'll see how it goes i've been watching a couple movies and i like watching a movie um like an action movie to keep me entertained um but yeah so that's what i've been doing but got to work today have a long work day i have my class this afternoon that i have to teach i don't know how many people i'll have um, but i'll try to get a video of class um to insert in here for you guys because i'm still teaching my group fitness class one day a week. Um, once prep is over, I'll actually be adding another class. So I have to teach one on Mondays after starting after Memorial Day. So, but that'll help me um, just be active and stuff too. So it's okay. Um, anyways, I'm gonna eat this and get to work and I'll see you guys later.
showing you guys another exciting glimpse into my life. Just got in the car, obviously. Um, just got done teaching class. I was not feeling it today, clearly, but we did it anyways. Um, it was fine, you know, got it done. <laughs> anyways, pigs in the eat, my second to last meal. It is just chicken, green beans, sugar-free ketchup, garlic salt on the green beans. You know, that low carb life, cause today was a rest day. Um, stimulant uptake in bleh, stimulant intake update. Um, I only had my fat burner today, and then I drank one ghost, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Much better. It's one of those days I really wanted to drink it earlier, but I didn't. So we're we're, we're holding strong, guys. Holding strong. <laughs> um. Anyway, so fixing to head home. Um. Just chill for the rest of the night i may or may not pick up the camera again but just want to give you guys an update just another wednesday in bethany's life yeah i'm tired i'll see you guys later so if you've been watching my videos for a while if you look back a few videos i showed y'all my that i've kind of been dabbling into gardening so i wanted to give you guys a little update i haven't shown my plants in the vlog in a while so i have some stuff that's producing so right here we've got a bell pepper. He's he's hanging on right there. Getting growing a little bit. That's a tomato back there. I don't think that one has anything on it. Um, this is another tomato. It's got one right here. Hanging on. Half of I have a bunch of different tomatoes and I don't really know what's what, but it's it's okay. Um, here I believe these are jalapenos. And then we've got, I think these are serranos, right back here. So we were making some fruit, guys. We're getting somewhere. Got another tomato here. Got one started right there. Then we have these peppers. I forget, I don't think they're banana peppers, but I forget what they're called. I think they're about time to be picked, honestly, because they're kind of started to turn brown, but got those. We got another one right there showing through so these are green beans yes okay so one thing i did realize i believe i planted things a little too close together <laughs> but we're learning it's okay um the little packet of seeds as far as all of these go and then the green beans i planted these from seed so when i planted them it said to plant like six or seven around like a 12 inch hill so I did rows instead, and I spaced them out a little bit, but then after you planted them, you were supposed to thin them out, and I guess spread them out, and I, and I neglected to do that part. So we'll see if they actually make, or if they're all too close together. But these are zucchinis, and I have one zucchini started right there. He's he's starting, he's starting to come through. And then this, this is a cucumber vine. I gotta get like a little trellis thing for him to climb. These are cucumbers too. They're obviously a lot smaller. They haven't really moved a whole lot. So I'm not sure what's going on there. We have more tomatoes. One right there. And then we've got a group of three hanging on. So some of these are heirloom tomatoes and some of these will be like cherry tomatoes. So we've got some more right under there and up here. And then I have some that are already turning. So they are over here. Nice little orange group we got hanging on. And a bunch of little other little baby ones see like look at all these it's so cool so i'm bound to have something live you guys something is gonna make it so which will be progress i did a little i planted a few things last year but i just didn't have a lot of time to devote to them so i didn't take care of them as much as i would have liked to um but these are all peppers in here as well so these i like i think are too close together but we'll see what happens but I hate to move them because I'm scared now that they're big enough. I'm scared if I move them, they'll die. But anyways, so here we have two good sized tomatoes. So I've got tomatoes, jalapenos, bell peppers, serrano peppers, green beans, zucchini, cucumber. And these are like little baby strawberry plants. They make like these itty bitty strawberries like right here. So they haven't, these are actually from last year. They're still alive from last year and I did not do anything to them like during the winter at all. But they've still been making, um, I don't think there's anything else on here, but, oh, there's one under there. See, little baby strawberries. So they just, they just held on somehow. Anyways, 
But I just want to give you guys a little garden update. I've really been enjoying this. I love the idea of actually like, you know, make growing my own stuff. Um, I would love to have a really big like actual garden, like, you know, eventually. But my mom got me those boxes, like the planter boxes for Christmas. Um, and they were like a really good thing for me to get started with. Um, and I had all these pots and stuff. And my dad gave me a lot of some of his plants to get me started too. And I planted those seeds. So I've just really been enjoying it. I've been trying to be diligent on watering them. Um, I have fertilized them one time. I need to fertilize them again probably. Um, but we'll see what survives. So this is another little exciting hobby. Um, because obviously, if, also if you watch my videos for a while, you know I'm a hunter. I love deer hunt, turkey hunt. So we have the protein, the meat covered. We just got to get the vegetables and the fruit situated. So I would like to continue to plant more. And this over here is a watermelon. So this is a watermelon vine. So it's it's growing a little bit, but it's not, you know, haven't done a whole lot. But anyways, that's a watermelon. But yeah, I'm really excited. Like I love that. I just love that everything's alive still. Well, that's the fact. <laughs> Nothing has died, which is, you know, a good, good sign. We just got to keep. I got to keep watering them and hopefully they'll produce anyways but i want to give you guys a little garden update so this is my new little hobby it's time for the last meal of the night which is the same thing i have every other day for the last like four or five months so it should be no surprise to y'all so that's why i didn't film me making it because y'all have seen it a bajillion times protein ice cream just one scoop protein powder i did the pea science Chocolate, frosted chocolate cupcake, one cup of almond milk, some xanthan gum to thicken it, ice, one caramel rice cake crumbled on top with some PB powder peanut butter, PB fit. Um, so just gonna eat this. This fills me up before bed, so I'm fixing to crush this and then chill and go to sleep. It's 8:30, 8:45, so we're just chilling. It's still daylight outside. <laughs> But um, I got to get up early and train in the morning. So I'm going to close this video out here and start a new one tomorrow. Um, maybe kind of keep it shorter. So try to keep these videos shorter. I know they're all like 30 minutes long. Anyways, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please like it. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep following along my journey, especially as we're fixing to finish up prep and start post-show reverse and improvement season. So it's going to be a whole new season. It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited actually. Um, but thank you guys so much for your support. Please, you know, share the channel if you enjoy it with other people. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep videos coming, vlogs, sit-down videos, topics. If there's anything you guys want to see, please comment down below. Um, thank you guys so much for your support, as always. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.